Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is April 11th of 2017. And as you know, if you watch any of my videos, I hate having to do a video over again, but I, I decided to make a short video a little while ago. And just as I started, I, a, a storm came in. And I started making a video and we lost power for just a fraction of a second. And so the video was about nine minutes when I got done. The video was messed up. So I'm having to do it over again. I'm going to keep this short also. Uh, a little bit of what's been going on. One, uh, this United Airlines thing where they drug the guy off of the airplane. I won't go into it because it's on the news and I'm sure you can you can just go to YouTube and do a search for United. Uh, I blogged about it. Well, I didn't really blog about it. I just put a, a uh, few comments, not even a, and a link to uh, Philip D. Franco and his uh, his comments. I've been messing for the last couple of days with uh, monitors. If you may have, if you've been watching my uh, videos, you, you know, I think the last video I had two monitors hooked up. I just have the one monitor hooked up today, but earlier I had the two monitors hooked up. And I was going to, I also tried to install, or was, I went, I was going to put, uh, I have Windows 10 running here, and I was going to put, um, uh, Linux on, and they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't install. I put them on for years and years, you know, dual boot, and they would not install without formatting the entire hard drive and uh, replacing Windows, which I did not want to do. I wanted to do dual boot like I've done many times in the past. So. But Windows 10 is working great for me. By the way, this is the 11th, and uh, today is the date. The what is it? Uh, what do they call it? The up when the Windows one people have been waiting for is being released today. I've already been using it a little bit because I do that advanced thing, which is not a good idea. But anyway, I've been messing with monitors and. Uh, I wanted to hook up my Samsung, my Chrome, Samsung Chromebook uh, Plus, I think it is. And I, I just wasn't thinking I was going to go and uh, go, whoops, wrong camera. That's, uh, I was going to go and hook that up. What is that there? Anyway, I was going to go and hook that up to an external monitor, although this is a touch screen. I was going to go hook it up to an extra monitor and play with it a little bit. Um, then I realized it only has two Type-C connectors on it. There is no port here where I can plug in a monitor. So uh, now I have this. There are no USB ports on this, just two Type-C. So I have a Type-C to four 3.0 USB that I can plug in to give me, but there's no monitor for it. So I went to Amazon and I ordered this. I'll have it in a couple of days. It's USB Type-C to an HDMI cable. So I'll be able to uh, hook this up and play with that a little bit. It, I think it's just kind of interesting to see, you know, have it sitting here with, of course, I could have the screen uh, closed or and have it open and add the access to the touch then I would also have the monitor so anyway I just wanted to play play because I've played around with everything else uh, oh wait a minute uh, let me edit that um, so I ordered uh, ordered this and I will have it uh, I'll do a review on this too because I think that uh, a lot of you may be interested. It's USB Type-C to an HDMI cable. It's five foot in length. 
and it's also Thunderbolt. I'm not familiar with I, I just know they call it Thunderbolt. Well, it's, I guess it says it's compatible, so I guess not every Type-C uh, is, I guess Type-C is not the same as Thunderbolt, but they can be compatible or whatever, so don't know that much about it, but this happens to be something that is compatible with this. Uh. So, uh, again, I'm using the Yeti microphone. How long I'll be using that? You know me, I switch all the time. Uh, this is the Logitech C930E, I think it is. I'm going to switch to their new Logitech camera. The lighting here is not the uh, not the best. It's really low light, which I love doing. I've always loved. I was interested in photography my entire life, from since I was in grade school, and I always loved. I always hated. I never used a flash. I hear thunder. I better bring this to an end pretty quick. It used to be. The United States is divided into three power grids: uh, East Coast. West Coast and Texas. Texas is own. When I moved here, I thought, oh God. But for years and years, no power losses. Uh, well, I think one time a her, or I, uh, t tornadoes came through, not here, but you know, close by. But no power losses really. And then a while back, a year or so ago, the power company or the city came through and they trimmed all the tree limbs around pyre, pyre, uh, power lines and the power company ran us I think a special line to the fire department that's right next to us a couple hundred feet away fire station and since that time anytime we get a high wind or um, uh, you know a storm we have little surges and we lose power, high wind or a storm. And it wouldn't matter too much except if you're making YouTube videos or trying to upload them or something. I've got a small battery backup thing that is uh, made to back up your cable modem and say a router and maybe a net you know, network uh, device. It's not made to run, you know, not to be a UPS unit for your computer or whatever. And I used to have one I had for years. Well, I had several over my lifetime, and uh, it the battery on that one died. So I need to get a new UPS unit for this computer. And then I would be just fine because I'm not talking about... Uh, can, I just want to be able to finish up what I'm doing and, you know, shut down or whatever if there's a storm, not expecting it to supply all the power to, uh, but, uh, so anyway, um, I see the uh, dermatologist slash surgeon about this thing on top of my head which came back negative or came back positive for uh, cancer cell so I see him Friday and I think he's going to do another one because he has to another biopsy because they need to know exactly what area it is in so they know how much to cut out so uh, if you've been following my videos you know I've had a cat in here since uh, my ex-wife and son moved in here and we're sharing expenses, uh, Hillary has been here helping out with the move and all that, she, great help. And she has a, she, a stray cat. Well, not stray, because it's been, well, it's been around, a feral cat that's been around here forever. And, she took care of some other feral cats, she took them to the vet, had everything done. And this one is 17 years old, but she took it to the vet. This, I think today was, or yesterday was the third time. 
that has an eye infection, but it had fleas and all kinds of stuff. And it has a respiratory infection, so it has to be kept away from other cats. And so it's been in my room, and I have to keep my door closed so the other cat, uh, Darlene's cat, Dee Dee, so they don't. So I think that Hillary's going to be going back to Russell's, and in I think uh, in a couple of days, and then I'm going to have my room here where I don't have to keep my door closed all the time, trying to isolate a contagious cat. Hopefully, it's not contagious to humans. Although some of you may not think that I'm human, I am human. Uh, what else? Oh, I played around a little bit again, or tried to, with uh, Linux. I've been playing with Linux for forever. And I installed Dual Boot and uh, with me other software, you know. And haven't done it for a little while. Not since Windows 10, I don't think. So I... Uh, went to put it on today and it will not with Windows 10 it when I try to install it instead of doing the dual boot thing it comes up and says you know I, well one of the Linux versions I forget which one Ubuntu or uh, whatever the other one which is based on your uh, one of them just came up just comes up and says oh you know got to format the hard drive another one comes up and says oh you have Windows here are your options, but there was no option for dual boot. It was erased, you know, so I didn't put put it back on, which is great because I've got I've got this the Chrome operating, you know, that, and I also have the Chrome box, which I showed you the other the other day. Oops. I always plug the power supply things in because I don't want things to get separated. So, uh, you know, here's the Chrome box. It's, it has uh, four gigabytes of uh, memory. And uh, two display ports, four 3.0 USB ports, uh, uh, where you can plug a, uh, it does Wi-Fi, and you can also plug in a you know, network cable. You can put a uh, SD card in. Uh, pretty neat. And it's the Chrome operating system. And I'll be playing with that some more. I've played with it a little bit, and I showed it to you. I think, the, I, think I showed it to you the other day. But for a very small amount of money, I think I have it on my wish list. Where is my wish list? Oops, nope, I want to go to my wish list. Hope I don't push the wrong thing here and you'll see all my... Yeah, I can get uh, eight gigabytes of memory, so there's... Yeah, so I can get eight, I'd have to pull out the... This, I could instead of having four, I could have eight. I could put sixteen in there, but positively you don't need. They pretty much say you don't need eight. That four is fine, four gigabytes. But I, I want to put eight, eight in there. Um, I've purchased two of these monitors, by the way. First one I purchased as soon as I got it. My grandson was living here then, grown grandson and. I ask if he's really good at computers, and I ask his advice about monitors, and and he just wouldn't. He's too busy playing computer games. He's working, and then when he's not working, he's playing computer games, and he just wants to play computer games. Period. And I said, you know, and he wouldn't give me. Then this arrived, and I hooked it up in here, and he came in, and he loved the monitor. So I just said, here, you can have it, and uh, then. It, Later on, a few, a month or two, 
later I ordered another one of these in for myself and my uh, son liked it so I gave it to him and so I'm gonna I wonder if these things are cheaper by the dozen oh man I have to order one in for me and keep it uh, <laughs> since my ex-wife and son moved in here we're sharing the expenses uh, it makes very little room in the freezer for the refrigerator we have a very small freezer well that's for the ice cube tray a very small freezer and she my ex-wife Darlene likes to buy bread at a discount and put it in the freezer or whatever so uh, and as you can see I will not be drinking this coke because it is cold it's uh got hot so so I, I like ice in my coke and it's I'm not going to go into that again because you're all going to tell me drink water but uh, so I'm, I think I'm going to if you have any experience I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money I mean I'm not a restaurant you know I don't want but I'm thinking about getting this uh, ice maker you know it's you have to pour water into it but then it makes mix ice for you uh, I think this is a, no. I, I've just I've upgraded. You know, I um, that's what I always do. I think that's what we all do, don't we? We we think well. There's this printer for ninety dollars, and it's uh, we've got two printers. I've got a Canon that I hardly ever print anything, and I'm. You should see I have the thing of ink that a cartridges that I have. It always needs ink cartridges in it. Uh, Darlene is using a uh, laser printer. I gave her my laser printer, and I took this was actually theirs. Uh, so I wanted to get, and this one. It should be, I should be able to hook it to the network, but I couldn't. I, there again, I asked my grandson, help me hook this to the network so we can all print to it and I don't have to have it, I don't have to have a USB cable running across and hooking into my uh, computer. And he tried it for a little bit, and said he had it, but it didn't stick. And uh, so then, but the laser printer that uses toner that's the one I use, very same model that when I worked at CompUSA and I was printing out price stickers for the entire store. And then when I left, the other employees used also that printer for doing signs and and uh, what have you. And, uh, you know, it just prints forever with the toner. And, uh, hey, your rain. I better, I'm going to bring this to conclusion pretty quick but uh, so you know they had a, a little bit of an upgrade to the uh, brother's printer that we have in there laser printer and it was like 80 bucks well but the one of the the little upgrade uh, the difference is it may it connects with a wireless network bang I mean that's it you don't have to be a computer scientist or engineer in order to do it so I wanted to get that and for some reason I see I've replaced that one that was like 80 bucks with this one that's 150 on my list so I do need to buy also a UPS supply or a backup unit you know backup unit and I think I said this already I'm not if I'm using it, I just want it to take out the power surges, and if there's a power loss, I just want it to keep me for a minute or two, just long enough to end a video that I'm making or or something. I've had recently, since we started having these power problems here, I've made two or three, counting the one today, videos, and bang power loss at some point 
and the video was no good. So I'm going to end this now, and uh, thank you very much for watching.